Hello traders, welcome to marketaddiction.net. Today is Tuesday, April 14th, 2009. I'm just going to do a quick uh, recap of the market action today. That was down 137 points, the NASDAQ was down 27, the S&P 500 was down 17 points. Starting off with the daily chart of the S&P 500, um, not a lot has changed. You have this 50-day moving average starting to flatten out. The 10-day is still above the 20-day, which is above the 50-day. I uh, pointed out that uh, I'd maybe look for a move up around this 88 level uh, as our next level of resistance. But uh, we do have this declining volume in here uh, while the price has been moving up. So this gives me a little bit of uh, reason to be concerned uh, about this uh, recent, uh, most recent upside move here. It looks like it may be losing a little bit of steam. Looking at the 60 minute chart, uh, you can see this is still the same trend line that I've had drawn in here. When I was pointing that out right here and we bounced off of it, we put in this higher high. Um, but it looks like now we're coming down fairly close to it again, which is going to coincide with the five day moving average. And we're hovering right around that area. And it's going to be critical for us to hold this level. But you notice that the tests of the trend line are coming more frequently which shows that um, you know the buyers aren't as strong in here and overall we've had this volume declining and also generally the fourth test of the trend line is usually when it breaks so uh, there's reason to be concerned in here about entering new long positions um, if we do get a breakdown uh, below this five day moving average the first target I would expect would be down around this level and then down around this level uh, but for now, you know, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Uh, if we do break this, I'll be looking for a move down around here. Uh, but the five-day moving average still is inclining, so uh, as it is right now, we still have these higher highs and higher lows. So you got to give the benefit of the doubt to the buyers. Looking at the NASDAQ, you can see that we're still above this horizontal uh, resistance line that I had pointed out. Well, it was resistance. We broke through it. Um, I would expect this to come down, maybe use it, uh, or maybe test it again as support. Uh, same situation here, though. We have this inclining price and declining volume, which shows that there's not as much conviction from the buyers. Looking at the 60 minute chart, uh, similar setup here. Uh, we have this trend line, um, more frequent tests of the trend line. Uh, we're down around this five day moving average, although it is still pointing up. Uh, generally, once you test the trend line so many times, it eventually will break. We do have these higher highs and higher lows in here. But if this one breaks, uh, same situation. I look for a move down around this 3120 level. And you can see the uh, same setup with the uh, declining volume in the NASDAQ here as well. I'd also been pointing out the XLF for the financials. Now they're looking a little bit better. Uh, we've got above this uh, resistance level in here. Uh, we did so on high volume. Uh, on this breakout. Looking at the 60 minute chart, actually let me back up to the daily chart again. I'll point out that we also have a 50 day moving average starting to incline here in the financials. We have the 10 day above the 20 day above the 50 day. So the moving average are still stacked nicely to the long side on the longer term time frame. Now looking at the 60 minute chart, you can see that when we broke past this level, when we yapped up, above it and then took off from it. Uh, we, we broke um, major resistance level here and it looks like we maybe want to come back down and test it as support. Uh, the five day moving average is still pointing up. Uh, we haven't quite came down to it yet. Uh, I'll look for it to act as support um, either the five day moving average or right around this previous resistance line. So what I like to see here in the financials is maybe a little bit farther pullback uh, maybe for the volume to start to decrease a little bit uh, come down to this level and then get a bounce up off of it on um, higher volume so that's what I like to see as far as a bullish case in the financials here um, on the bearish side uh, we get below this 5 day moving average and hold below it and if it starts to flatten out then we uh, let me get rid of some of these lines here the five day moving average will start to flatten out as we trade down below it and then come up to it, test it as resistance, and then push back down. Um, that would be the, the bearish scenario here in the financials. 
Now it looks like these do have uh, a lot of room to run though, go back to the daily chart. And if we do get a push off of this level, uh, the next level I would expect to see would be this $13 level, or maybe this previous uh, high here, which would probably uh, be right around the same area as this 200 day moving average. So that's just a quick recap uh, what I'm looking for in the overall market. Um, I'll probably be cautious as far as taking any new long positions. Uh, not to say that I won't enter any, but uh, I'll, I'll be very cautious because uh, when the markets run into what could be an uh, area of resistance and a turnaround, uh, most stocks do generally follow the market, so I don't want to have too much exposure to the long side. If you do want to see my setups, I do have both long and short setups. Be sure to visit my website at www.marketaddiction.net. If you're just watching this video on YouTube, uh, be sure to check out the links on the side. Stop back and have a great day.